Hello everyone, welcome back to Conspirocracy. So at the end of the last episode, I was a bit stuck. I came back and I just, I was looking around for a little bit, trying to find some things that I had maybe missed, and I just couldn't find anything, so I just ended up looking up a walkthrough. And I'm very glad I did. Very, very glad. Because unfortunately, this game, as many adventure games do, suffers from Adventure Game Puzzle Syndrome, or AGPS. It's unfortunately a very widespread condition. So here's what I'm missing. At least, one of the things I'm missing. I didn't look too far ahead, I just looked far enough to see... Just to see a major thing that I'm missing, and I'm assuming everything else, or at least some other things, will fall into place because of this. So we'll see what happens. But here's at least one thing I'm missing. There's these business cards here. Metro Toys and Games. James Cartwright, owner. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. Now I need to call the number for some reason. Not entirely sure why. Hello? Hello, Mr. Cartwright? Yes? Your caller number five. Congratulations! You've won a free trip to Las Vegas! I have? Oh boy! Uh, you have ten minutes to come down to the 96.8 studio to pick it up, or we'll give it away to another lucky caller. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be right back. <laughs> Seriously? He didn't hear that I was the one telling him that one foot away? Oh dear. I feel kind of bad for him. Okay, what am I supposed to do from here? It's something to do with this grate and this helicopter and getting the shoes. It'll all make sense. Once I actually manage to make sense of it. Uh, I think I'm supposed to move the box so I can get up to the vent? Yeah, okay. And I think I need to open this with my Allen key. And how am I... Okay, fine. Do you know how to step up on boxes? I'm not going to move it. No, no, I want you to walk on top of it. Can you step on I top of it? I the box, but it's too tall for me to climb onto. Bad knees. Um... What? just remembered. I don't listen to the radio. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is actually a timed thing. Sorry about that. Okay, then. Is it gonna make up a different excuse? Hello? Hello, Mr. Yes? This is your bank calling. Hmm. Can you please come visit our nearest branch? All of your money has gone missing. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm on my way. <laughs> I'll be right back. All of your money's gone missing. That would be on them, wouldn't it? Their responsibility. Like, what exactly is he gonna go down there to do? So, yeah, how... How do I get on it? Is there something else in here? Oh, wait a minute, are you serious? Is it the ramp? Is it the ramp? What the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Screw you. I'm not going to move. I hope you fall off that box and break your neck. How do I actually get on it? I've moved the box. Um. I. How? I don't understand. I'm confused. Do I need, like, a skateboard to skateboard up there or something? And how am I... I, I don't know how you're supposed to get there. Maybe you walk up the ramp onto the box? <clears throat> Is there something in here that's gonna help me? This is kind of embarrassing. I'd appear to be incapable of getting on top of a box. Hmm. 
Okay, I can't use the ramp. I can't use the box. I can't walk on top of it. For some reason. And I can't just use the Allen key on this, right? And how? Okay, let me just peek at the walkthrough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait a minute, it says move the shelf... ...and the box. Wait, what do you mean move the shelf? Why would I move the shelf? What? What? I'm not going to move. But... But... He doesn't need the extra height to reach it. Look! His arms can practically touch the ceiling. He did... I think I'm having an existential crisis. I'm going to play this game now. Actually, no. Let's search. Let's tweet. Oh, that's the same tweet I sent before. Sorry, I'm having deja vu. Let's... let's Google. Um, I need something to cheer me up. What would cheer me up? I searched for cats before and I found nothing, which was rather strange. What else would cheer me up? Bunnies. There's no bunnies on the internet. Now I'm even more sad. Okay then. Do I have to do everything for you? Hold on. Let me fix the situation. Boom! Fixed. Wait, what? You're... Did you just walk on top of the shelf? <laughs> Are you literally standing on top of a shelf? Do you know how unsafe that is? They're not meant to support 150 plus pounds, which is probably what you weigh. At least they're probably not meant to. You certainly can't count on it. Okay, now what does it actually gain me? I think the next thing you're supposed to do is use the helicopter. I'm assuming the helicopter goes outside of... goes outside the... grate, the... ventilation... duct, but why can't it just go outside the door? I don't know, we're about to find out. Like, it can't go out the door. Okay. That... makes... no... sense. He needed to get up about twice higher than what he actually needed to get up to unlock the grate. And he needed to unlock the grate so that the helicopter could fly through it. But the thing is, I didn't need the helicopter to fly through it in the first place. It could have just gone outside the door. After all, the owner's gone. It doesn't matter. He's not going to notice anything either way. The entire reason I just did that doesn't even make any sense. Not to mention the way I did it also didn't make any sense. And besides, wouldn't you have to be like a master... RC helicopter flyer to be able to get it through a grate without it simply hitting the wall, th the side of the the ventilation shaft and banging around and exploding. I mean, they're not particularly wide, and the fan blades on this thing are pretty big, which means like right after you enter it, the next thing you're gonna hear is gonna be like thunk, 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 and then it's gonna go poof into a bunch of plastic pieces. I don't get it. 
Anyway, I'm, apparently I'm supposed to get the shoes, which I think I give to the homeless guy. Now, where were the shoes? Dang, hmm. Where were they? I know they're hanging from a power line, but which power line? This one? Oh, here we go, okay. Hmm. Apparently this RC helicopter's pretty stressed out. Why are you stressing? You're only made of plastic. I can't seem to hook the shoes to the helicopter. Oh. I might need to do yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm forgetting something. The paperclip. Hold on. Return. Return. Go. Return. Oh god, not you again. I just remembered. I don't have, I just remembered I don't have any money. <laughs> Sorry well, he, about that. He, he did just open a new business, which you know what that means. When you start a new business, you pretty much don't have any money. Or if you do have any money, you need to jealously guard it, because you're probably not going to be turning a profit for quite a while, if not forever. Because, let's face it, most cell phone businesses, they fail. Because running a business is kind of hard. Paperclip. A vent paperclip makes for a pretty good hook. You could say the helicopter's quite the hooker. Okay, let's see what the third excuse is. If there is one. Hello? Hello, Mr. Yes? Uh, this is Red Tape General. Uh, your wife is in labor. You need to come right away. Goodness, I'm on my way. Let I'll me guess. Be right back. He doesn't have a wife. Wait, what am I doing? Here we go. Yes, yes, thank you. What the? Why did he? It looks. Okay, pick it up again, please. There we go. For some reason, my mouse didn't show up to press the OK button. Bingo. What if there's anything else you can do with this thing? I doubt it. Alright, so what was he gonna give me for the shoes? I can't remember. Was it an issue of his I just remembered. I don't have a wife. Oh, that's new. Clever. Didn't predict that one. Sorry about that. You know, I wonder if there's a fourth excuse. Let's find out. Hmm. Hello? Hello. Yes? I think I found your missing cat. Can you meet me outside the Blue Cup Cafe in five minutes? Patches? Of course, I'm on my way. I'll be right back. Okay, let me think hard about this. Let me guess what he's gonna say when he comes back. I'm gonna need to keep thinking about it to figure it out. Let's see if I can figure it out. Really, I it's a really take, hard riddle. I should take advantage of the. No. I should take... I should... I should... 
I can't leave? I should take... Why would you do that? I should... <sighs> the mouse was messed up again. I couldn't press continue. Okay, well, let me think hard about that riddle. Let me think what he's going to say when he comes back. Oh, I think I know what it is. He's gonna say he doesn't have a cat. I just remembered. Patches is a dog. Oh, clever. You caught me off guard. Sorry about that. Okay, can I please never come back here? Please. I never want to come back here, please. Please. Please tell me I don't have to come back here. Also, doesn't you find it strange that now there's an open grate? And a skateboard ramp? And a box? And a shelf moved so that someone can, like, get into the grate? Isn't that kind of weird? If I was him, I'd be thinking there might be a, a couple... A couple dozen Gordon Freemans about. Making mischief. Youths. Just save before I get run over. That's not how you save. This is how you save. Yeah, I found out that my stress is high enough uh, when I was trying to find a solution before I started recording that my stress is high enough that if I get hit by a car, I die. So don't want that to happen. Look at these windows. They just look like minty and berry. They look delicious. You know, it's been a little while since I played, and uh, I actually don't remember the main character's name. I don't remember what his name was. What's my name? Is, is it Eric? Also, I think I just... I think I missed something. I saw something in the walkthrough that mentioned the three different places where you can get coins. One of which was the newspaper. From the newspaper vending machine. The other was the fountain, which I've both I've done both of those, but yeah, I think I need this coin. Here we go. Okay. Hey, somebody left a quarter in there. So I've got a dollar and fifty cents, right? Oh. No. Seventy-five cents. How much was it for a coffee? Was it one fifty? What is my name? Here you go, buddy. You can stop using foil in a box for your shoes. See you, Biscuit. Are these your missing shoes? I found them hanging off a telephone cable just outside the Chikanistani embassy. 
you found my shoes. That's really kind of you, sir. But I don't believe in charity, so let me give you something in trade. This is a copy of my newsletter, Modern Anti-Establishmentarian. Open your eyes, open your mind, learn the truth. Here you go, no charge. Oh, um, thanks. Okay, you mentioned something about it. Something about reprogramming bots, right? So maybe this will tell me how to reprogram the metabot? Let's see. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's actually in my books, right? This? Yeah, here we go. Okay. What does the government fear most? I don't really care. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, here, this might be relevant. The prevalence of so-called metabots to act as gatekeepers between citizens and their human rights is another means of the Illuminati to control the population. Thankfully, the secret backdoor hacks used by the Illuminati to identify themselves to these machines has been obtained by a community of freaks and hackers for me to share with you. Okay, after being scanned for triage, the health insurance card prompt for version 1.0 to 2.3 metabots can be bypassed with a simple code. Theseus. Or Theseus, whatever that, however you pronounce that. Okay. Good to know. This password is obviously an oblique reference to the founder king of Athens, who slayed the Minotaur according to legend. What does the Bilderberg, gr Bilderberg group know that we don't? Hacking... whatever that is, mutual. ATM. Hmm. You need a mag so to hack an ATM, you need a magnetic reader, a decryption utility, and a wireless transmitter. I don't think I'm going to be doing that anytime soon. Never pay for coffee. Ooh. As long as you've kept your cup, they'll give you free refills at the Little Blue Cup Coffee Shop on Century and... whatever that is. So instead of disposing of your cup, hold on to it, wash it, and bring it back with you next time. Hmm. Do I have a cup? Have I seen a cup? A smart public transit. Okay. Okay, here's some tips. Avoid bus drivers that are heavily intoxicated. Make sure it's been recently maintained. Alright, so I should write this down. So, you're worried about... Intoxication. Maintenance. And... Smell. So those are three things to look out for. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try the Metabot. Wait, it's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Now everything's falling into place. I know who you are. Hello, please. What are you? Uh, I I've already asked that. I feel. I Okay, so I think I might need to get tear gassed again. Like when I enter that password, I maybe I need to wait till a later stage. Like I think I might need to get through the early stage so I can even enter the password. We'll see. So what about this cup? I don't have a cup, right? No. Where would I get one? From someone else at the shop? At the coffee shop?
perhaps. It looks like no one's touching that cup. Hmm. What about the trash? I'm not going to root through every garbage. But you don't have to root through everyone, just this one. I'm not. Why do I find. Our teacher? She's the one that hates me. Can't talk or do anything to this group of people. I mean, there's probably a mug back home, but. Surely it would have to be a mug. Or it'd have to be a cup from them, right? One of their own? You can't just bring in any cup and say, Coffee, please. What about Sarah Parker? Hi, Mr. Paul. Hello, Sarah. Hmm. What do you think of- I come here. Is he the- Yep. There's a glass- There's another cup over here. But I can't seem to touch it. Or talk to this fine gentleman. And I'm pretty sure I don't have enough money. I can't seem to interact with a stack of cups. Let's see if I can buy one. I'm pretty sure I can't. Hi there. I like a sp that will. Oh no, I do have enough money. Here you go. And of course, no tip. Jerk. I don't have any more money, you asshole. I mean, love you. Okay, so I guess it's just saying that if I use up the coffee, I can come back and get more for free. I guess there's a way the coffee can get, like, lukewarm or something like that. And that's telling you that you can... you don't need to find more money. Okay. I guess I need to get tear gassed. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what do I say here? I wrote it down somewhere. Um, oh, here it is. Okay. It's a lot. I hope this doesn't stress me out too much that I die. That would suck. These. Okay, so lounge. We have given. We. Hell. Working hours. We. we Naps. A brook suited. And then drinking. We we yeah. Then outrage. They won't we yeah. Hang on. And the police come. And everybody has a wonderful time. Let's burn the Yeah, burn it down. Burn it good. We have a ten thirty four compact that Pew. Actually, I wonder if getting hit again doesn't raise my stress, or does it? Let's see if it does. I'm looking at it. I love my job. Oh, no, it doesn't seem to raise my stress. Oh, no, it did. It did. Oh, yeah. I am in the red. I hope something I do ra lowers my stress at some point, because so far, everything has just raised it. Because I'm going to, like, have a heart attack or something, or whatever the hell happens when it gets to max. <coughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Is my coffee still warm? It is, okay. Yes, yes, you've been tear gassed. Boo hoo, I know. I know you are. I want to snap your little spine. It looks rather. It looks like a weak point. Just want to go. Just. <coughs> Hello! I feel. I You enjoyed that, don't you? And mm hmm Run. Watery eye. Run. My Please. Whoa. <coughs> 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 
<laughs> Alright, so it says warm, but I wonder if it needs to be hot. Let me see if I can heat it. Wait, no, the radiator isn't on, right? Yeah, the radiator isn't on. Let's hope it's hot enough. Although I suspect it isn't. I'll place the thermometer in this hot cup of coffee. Well, actually it's not hot, it's warm. There's a difference. And that's exactly what I'm worried about. The thermometer is now reading 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, never <laughs> mind, that should be plenty. <laughs> if your internal temperature was actually 140 degrees Fahrenheit, wouldn't you be dead? Yeah, you'd be dead, wouldn't you? Like, really, really far dead? insurance number my whole life. Subject must enter correct insurance number or Medivon will activate zombie defense mode. It does think I'm dead. <laughs> so I kind of am a zombie. Okay, it's Theseus, right? Yeah, um, apps, book. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Okay, Theseus. Write that down just to make sure that I don't mis-enter it. Okay. <laughs> Where's the... I just realized the V's and the U's look exactly the same. Wow. <coughs> Stop coughing. And S. Yes. Yeah, that should be it. 7327277. Manual override successful. Excellent. Dr. Emmanuel will see you now. About damn time. That guy's totally gonna die. What the oh, hell? Hello there. You must want to see a doctor or something. I need a certificate of life. It's a long story. Okay, well first I need to verify that you are not a hallucination incorporeal spirit, schizophrenic episode, or a metaphor in a postgraduate essay in solipsism. Make this putt, and I'll grant you the certificate of life you seek. <laughs> What's that going to prove? <laughs> what? Only a living, breathing, sentient being can master the art of golf. This is the only way to be sure. And how does making a single putt make me a master of golf? I'm not very good at putting. I'll have to do a lot of adjustment. Oh. How the hell? I don't. I don't even know how this works. What? What? Oh, are you serious? It increases my stress every time I get it wrong. Fuck you! <laughs> I don't even know how this game works. Do I hold it down to uh, hit harder? What? Okay. No, it's actually going far enough. Cool. Alright, that should do it. Uh, maybe... Uh, uh, uh. 
and I just died. to say I don't like this trust mechanic. It's about as pointless as the one well, the sanity mechanic in Indigo Prophecy. That is completely and just a waste Oh god. Jesus. Just a waste of your time. Stop coughing you fuck. I'm just kidding. I love you person whose name I forgot. And now I have to do this all again. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, honestly, it, it is just a waste of your time. I mean, look what just happened. That doesn't present a challenge to me. All it makes me do is reload my game and do stuff I already did before. It's it's nothing but a waste of my time. Yeah, it's really silly. I, I... Now I'm just going to sit here and mash the click key. The click key. The click button. I'll place <laughs> the thermometer. Okay, let's go ahead and save here. Nope, wrong button. <laughs> Alright, I don't remember the numbers, but I don't need to stop coughing. It's oh. What's that? Oh, this. I'm not very. I'll have. Okay, so right about here, and we're good. Great shot. Well, I'm convinced. Here you go. One certificate of life. Please lower Thank my stress. You, doctor. Please. Is it going to lower my stress? Will anything lower my stress or does it only go up? Whoa. What the? That was weird. I was in the, I was in the library for a second. I'm one of them. <sighs> Polonius, do you have a moment? What is it? I just received word from the Shawinigan Call Center. The Tribute is going to try to restore his identity. They always do. He will no doubt attempt to get a doctor to issue him a Certificate of Life. When combined with his birth certificate, he will pursue a Writ of Vitality Adjustment. The Beast commands that when presented with a Writ of Vitality Adjustment... You understand that this is for the greater good. He must not succeed. The ritual demands it. What must I do? You must ensure he fails. Did that seriously not lower my stress? <laughs> I just got one of the major components that I needed to pursue my goal, and it didn't even lower my stress. Are you serious? <sighs> okay. Well, as much as that's good, it doesn't really solve my... Like, it doesn't... I can't think of what else it allows me to do. 
I have a certificate of life, yeah, but I still need my birth certificate. Which I can only get by flying back to Jakanistan. And I can only do that if I can afford the ticket, right? I think. So I certainly made some good progress, but I don't know where to go from here. Let's see what's on my list. Yeah, fly to Chikensen and obtain your birth certificate. Find silver key. Steal the barista's passport from the post office. Okay, how do I steal it from the post office? How do I even enter the post office? My foot got caught in the tire. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Wait a minute. Did I not save? After? game doesn't do my blood pressure any favors. <laughs> he can cough even in death. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end the episode here, and I'm just gonna do this off-camera and then save it immediately after, and then I'm gonna come back to this game later. I just want to wring that little fucking robot's <laughs> neck. Or its spine, or whatever you call it. I just want to smash it. I want to smash it. <sighs> anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye. <coughs>